Hi guys! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay dito sa ating discussions about statics, rigid bodies. At ang ating magiging topic for today guys is all about equilibrium of parallel forces. At uh, naghanda ko guys ng isang problem para sa inyo para ipakita yung uh, isa sa mga magagandang approaches at techniques kung paano tayo mag-solve ng mga problems equilibrium of parallel forces Guys, ito ang problem There is a homogeneous bar AB of uniform cross section and has a length of 7 meters It is bent at right angles at a point C 3 meters from A and is hung on a ceiling by means of a cable attached to C. Find the angle at which the legs AC and BC of the bar will make with the horizontal at equilibrium. So, kung titinan natin guys itong problem, ito lumalabas na kay meron tayo dito isang bar, a uniform on cross-section, katapos homogenous siya, na ang length niya is uh, 7 meters. Assuming natin na itong point na ito, okay, and na ito is uh, point A, and this one is point B. The length of the bar is given at 7 meters. Ayan, 7 meters. Ito, no? Then it is uh, bent at right angle at point C, 3 meters from A. So if this is uh, point A, so somewhere here, ano, somewhere here, okay, we'll be calling it as C. And the distance of this uh, C from A is given at. Ang sabi dito sa problem, this bar is bent at right angle at this point C. So, ating uh, balutitin ito hanggang sa maging right angle siya. So, mga katwid, this will be our okay, angle of 90 degrees kasi sinabi siya is at right angle, di ba? Right angle. So, the angle now at C will be at 90 degrees. So here is our point A. The length of our segment AC of the bar is 3 meters. Samantalang ito namang segment BC ng bar is 4 meters. Ang sabi dito, at this point C, diba, ay inihang siya sa pamagitan ng cable okay, sa ceiling. Diba? And when the bar attains its uh, equilibrium condition, ipinapahanap sa atin itong angle that this bar BC at AC will be making now with respect to the horizontal. So, itong angle nito we are looking for this angle, assuming that this angle is angle theta. Itong angle naman na pinapahanap is atin, ito naman tawagin nating angle al. So, ano daw yung angle na yun kapag nagkaroon na yun? So, how are we going to solve the problem? So, let us analyze muna itong bar. Kasi binabanggit dito sa problem, the bar is homogeneous and the uh, cross section is uniform. So, in this case, therefore, pwede tayong mag-assume ano, na yung weight of the bar can be expressed in terms of uh, the weight per linear meter and the W is expressed as the weight per linear meter. So, mga katwid, kung meron tayong total length of 7 meters for the bar A, A B, the total weight of the bar, therefore, will be equal to 7W as uh, we multiply W by the length. At dahil yung bar ay hinati sa dalawa, then we expect that this bar, AC, will have a weight of 3W. Samantalang itong bar, BC naman, will have a weight of 4W. So, if we are going to isolate the bar as free body diagram, then we try to remove other bodies that this bar is interacting with and this is the ceiling. We try to remove the ceiling then we show the force exerted by the ceiling and let us call that this is a E. So let us try to show okay, the force acting on this uh, bar, a segment of the bar is, you know, so meron tayo itong weight of 3W acting at the center. So meron tayo itong 3W. So dun sa kabila, okay, so we shall have here a weight of 4W diba? acting at the center of the segment BC. So, if we're going to consider a, the 
distance of this action of the weights or the segment from C, then we can find that this distance, ano, itong distance na ito mula dito hanggang dyan, will be a, the adjacent side of the triangle form with the hypotenuse equal to a, this width, uh, this length, which is uh, one half of four. And so this length will be equal to two of cosine theta. Samantalang sa kabilang side naman, itong uh, a distance, itong 3W mula sa C will be defined by this horizontal distance from this point up to that point. And if this is 3 meters sa makat weight, itong uh, side na ito will be equal to 1.5 cosine of the angle at. So, if this is in equilibrium sa makat weight, it will satisfy the conditions of equilibrium. And because we have here forces that are parallel, so maybe we can apply ano, summation of forces vertical or summation of moment about n. Because we don't know yet here the value of t, although we can compute it vertical and we can find that the value of t will be equal to 7 of the two. But since we are looking for the value of this angle theta and alpha, as uh, makabubuti, we will be taking summation of moment about this. And so if we will be applying the summation of moment about c equal to 0, considering that direction in the counterclockwise as positive, that for the moment equation shall be equal to a the moment produced by this 4w whose moment arm is 2 times cosine of theta. So you have here a 4w multiplied by 2 cosine of theta. And this will be equal to the moment produced by this 3w whose moment arm is equal to 1.5 cosine of alpha. And so this will be equal to a of w multiplied by the moment arm of 1.5 cosine of alpha. And you can find that a, this w will cancel with the other w on the other side. And when we simplify this equation, we shall have here a cosine of theta is equal to 4.5 cosine of alpha. Diba? But if you're going to observe the relationship between theta and that of alpha, Okay, since the sum of all this angle, the theta plus 90 plus alpha must be equal to 180 degrees. Diba? But there is already 90 degrees here. So, makatwid, yung sum ng theta at ng alpha will be equal to 90 degrees. And when we have two angles whose sum is 90 degrees, therefore, okay, the two angles are complementary. Hence, we say here that okay, the alpha and Theta are complementary angles. Hence, we know that for a complementary angles, their functions are of functions. Ano? So, makatwid, we can say here that the cosine of angle theta is equal to the sine of angle alpha. Diba? So that if this cosine of theta, which is equal to sine of uh, alpha, will be substituted here. Okay, what are we going to have? So, let us try to have it here. Okay, so when we substitute, okay, the value of cosine theta, which is equal to sine alpha in this equation. Therefore, what do we have? So, we will be having a sine of alpha equal to 4.5 times cosine of alpha. So, if we will be dividing both sides by cosine of alpha and then 8, therefore, the left-hand side will be equal to tangent of alpha, while the right-hand side will be equal to the ratio of 4.5 divided by 8. And if we are going to simplify and then solve for alpha, alpha will therefore be equal to 29.36. Similarly, after we have computed for alpha, we can compute for theta, which is the difference between a 90 and alpha. Therefore, from here, we can find that theta will be equal to 60.6. Kaya guys, ang pinakita ko sa inyo isang example on how we compute okay, the system of uh, parallel forces in equilibrium. And I hope that uh, with the sample problem that I have presented to you, you are able to understand how okay, are we going to apply the solutions of the conditions of equilibrium to a system of parallel forces in Once again, Thank you very much for